do you know somebody that gets on your nerves like they just it's just something about them right like they maybe their voice or just their presence or maybe it's just the little things that they do that just irks you i mean it literally just digs in your nerves like you can't stand the way they act the way they think you know maybe they get extra loud when they're on sales sales calls right so they purposely walk around the entire floor all loud like boo boo nobody cares you're on the phone bro you're supposed to be on the phone dog and uh and always kind of brown nosing right brown nosing the upper ups and and more or less a chameleon with you this way but then they go in another direction in there another way there, there there's no genuineness to them you know and 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 because you spot that because you know that and and because it 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 doesn't mix with you right like oil and water just does not mix it makes you feel some kind of way it actually affects your energy like to a point where you could have you you could be having a great day and then this you hear this person's voice you're like like that hey man come on we all got them people and i want i want to share this with you because i personally have you know this type of individual within my life and it's just natural it's always going to happen it's going to happen again and again and again and what i what i hope to share with you in this video is a method where you don't let it affect you because if you if you are letting it affect you ultimately you're letting external factors control your future control your momentum and this page at sales remastered is all about developing the right mindset the right you know uh, uh motivation and 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 mentorship that enables you to not be anchored by these external items whether it is the attitude of those around you whether it's the circumstances of a market whether it's the price of your product whether it's the recognition of your brand whatever it is these are outside factors that don't necessarily represent you and so my hope is to share with you some of the tools that I've developed along my career that has enabled me to get past these events and you might be like but D you just told me you had some person like this <laughs> in your circle and I'm telling you boo boo it's because it's true you're gonna run into these type of people but what happens when you have these type of people and I'm going to share that with you, so be sure to watch the entire episode, stick around because you might walk away from this video just that much stronger. And if you could walk away stronger, then I know that you walked away with value. What's up everybody, welcome back to Sales Remastered. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the importance of empathy and how it applies not only to you know yourself or your prospects, but also those around you. Yes, even those that get on your nerves like I just explained at the beginning of this video. You see, there are times where we're in an environment and typically we want to surround ourselves by people who are like us. And when we spot someone who's not like us, we tend to kind of focus on their on their poor qualities right we tend to focus on their weaknesses we tend to focus on the things about them that really annoy us so much so that it gets to a point where the second you hear their voice or the point the second you see their name or they respond you just like Ugh, you bite down you, you you know you clench your teeth real strong and and I know it's gonna happen to you if it hasn't happened before and if it's happening right now I want to share with you something that you could do so that you're not affected by it you see a lot of people have kind of this need right and and this is just a side note um, but there's a lot of people who have this need and just simply do not know how to deal with it do not know how to adapt to it and so I have a plethora of videos I have a ton of content here on Fa here on YouTube here on Facebook here on Instagram uh, LinkedIn on Twitter on snapchat so I I have a, a lot of content that I put out there and it's not because you know I'm some attention whore <laughs> like I just want them likes or whatnot but I understand the importance of of sharing and, and giving value to those who are in the same situation or maybe same hustle as I am and what's odd and oddly enough the information and the tools that I give have not only helped thousands of loan officers for the course of my career and that's close to 20 years now but it's it's repetitive right and so it's the same exact philosophies it's the same exact solutions that get applied to the tools and what I found is that when I've opened up the eyes to individuals who were unaware of this solution what they were able to do is amazing they were able to lift themselves up to the level that they 
aspired to reach. They were able to get their income to a level that their family needed it to be. They were able to reach milestones and collect accolades that they were due because they worked so hard to get. And so in this episode, I want to give you a quick reminder that, you know, I, I released a special out this week and it's a, it's a special that I have on my course. And my course is called The Close and basically it's a mortgage banker's guide to closing sales. And I'm talking about everything from origination, soliciting, inbound, outbound, objection handling, um, how to frame the sale, how to transition into the sale, how to sell, and then how to close. And it's important you, you understand the difference between those things because if you don't, then you do not understand the sequential order that they actually fall into place. And if you knew how this formula worked, if you knew how the guide actually showed you the sequential order of how you're supposed to do these actions and how you react to the reactions, I think that you'll not only be prepared to reach the next level, but more importantly, Importantly, you have had made an investment in yourself that pays you back greater than any college degree would ever probably give you. Because the college, what they don't teach you in school is how to sell. What they don't teach you in school is how to start a business, how to how to uh, you know negotiate, right? How to read a financial sheet. They, there's a lot of things they don't share with you in school. But the odd thing is, I share a ton of content here for free. The only thing that I ask of you is that you like comment and subscribe share the video with someone that you care about share it with someone who is like-minded like you because the chances are is that they probably need some of the content that's on this channel and I, I, I get a lot of reviews if you want to look at the reviews go to my Instagram link link below this video and on my profile page there's these highlights uh, one of them is called reviews go flip through those reviews you're actually getting actual comments from from the audience that I have and the way that my content has impacted them and that's ultimately what keeps me going but I wouldn't know right the community wouldn't know unless those people took the time out of their day in in kind of a sign of a rep reciprocity <laughs> I hope I'm saying that word right uh, reciprocity I think that's it um, basically what they're doing is is for all the value that they gain they took a minute to show uh, gratitude and I think gratitude is one of the most powerful things that you could do every single morning is be grateful for the things that you have and so what we're gonna be grateful about is this channel at sales remastered giving you another solution to help strengthen your day help strengthen your mindset and hopefully give you the motivation that you need to finally get past whatever wall you may believe is is holding you back or stopping you from moving forward so going back to the topic at hand you know I got Man, there's just people around you wherever you are, no matter what environment you're in, no matter when you watch this video, there's just going to be people that make you react a certain way. And I had mentioned that empathy is important. And I, I explain empathy being important uh, when dealing with a prospect, right? Empathy is important also when dealing with yourself, right? And empathy, if you're, if you're not familiar with the word, basically empathy is just is looking at it from the other person's point of view and taking some time to be considerate about what the other person feels, not just about you. And why it's so important in sales, as you know, is because a lot of salesmen, they just simply don't have the empathy. They're not considering the experience from their uh, client's point of view. They're not experiencing the kind of the sales pitch from their prospect's point of view, from tonality to the way it's worded. And empathy can really bring you a long way. And how it applies to people who are not your prospects or people who are not you and actually apply it to people who actually get on your nerves because again it, it's 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 very demeaning not demeaning man I, I, a word that I could say really is just it's deflating that's probably the better word to to have this type of energy in your circle or maybe on your floor or in your company or in your division or somewhere around you that has a an impact on your energy where it it brings you from a positive mind state to a negative mind state and typically it does this because we can't stand how some people can get by without even trying how some people can get by without doing as much work as we do who who gets by when they're not real right and and you know you know this is happening but maybe you're like me you're the type of like yo man I'm I'm gonna stay out of that <laughs> I want nothing to do with it it ain't my business you know it's not affecting me so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it moving 
when in reality it is affecting us right it is affecting us to some degree because we we tend to spend whether it's a couple seconds or a couple minutes in trying to understand why like why does this person do this why does this person do that and again it could be that just the sound of their voice that ripples throughout your day or, or maybe messes up your your uh, energy and your momentum and so the reason why I think empathy is important is because we sometimes just really need to take a step back and think about why that person acts that way and it's not it's not a matter of of hey you know I wonder why they act this way I want to go talk to them and help them it's not about that because you can't help everybody as a matter of fact more than likely the person that gets on your nerves is designed that way they're built that way so regardless if you figured them out and you figured out the code and you knew the answer the likelihood of you going up to them and say hey man here's the answer stop being a douchebag you know it's not gonna work right and so but how it will help you at least in this video is is understand where they come from and so I had this situation the other day where this particular person you know um, every time they're on the phone they just walk around or every time you know there's always just loud and always got this fake energy this fake vibe and 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 you have to understand how to transition your your thoughts about that individual so you can stay positive and it's a challenge and what's helped me is empathy and it's basically taking a step back and saying man there's got to be a reason why this person acts this way there's got to be a reason why they 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 do this you know what i mean maybe they're old school or maybe they they just don't know how to you know how to how to relay their message or maybe they just don't know how to act right and maybe maybe just maybe and this really helps is that they're just so desperate that they don't understand how their actions affect other people. More importantly, because of their desperation, they've completely lost the, the being in tune with themselves and never realized how selfish that they actually are. And you know you have these type of people around you because you know through your experience and maybe your you, you know, right, there's always that one person you know more about than they think you know, <laughs> right? Just maybe because you have a friend that's their friend's friend or you maybe have a friend that's on that person's team and they kind of know how they act when they're around this circle and then you know how they act when they're around other people and they kind of, they're a chameleon, right? And they're always trying to be the the center of attention when they didn't they didn't necessarily deserve that center of attention. But what even makes it worse is that they have absolutely no uh, empathy themselves they have no awareness of how they affect other people and so they talk as if they're entitled to it uh, the respect right they talk because maybe their title th gives them this illusion that people need to bow down to them and they forget that it's actually the team that enables you to shine as bright as you may have shined before or as, as bright as you believe you're shining. It is the people around you and so when you have the audacity to be a dick to people who are literally there to help you and just trying to do their job but you think that you're so experienced and that you're just so, you know what I mean, like vet, vetted out that you have the right to talk to people as if they fucking work for you boo boo they don't fucking work for you they work with you right and so sometimes we just have to remind ourselves like this is what we want to say and this is what kind of fuels our anger and sometimes our passion is turned towards that direction and so when it happens to you next and when you start to feel that you're getting affected by that person's energy or that person's tone or that person just makes you just grit your teeth and you're just like I can't fucking stand that person I want you to remember it's okay boo boo because that person does these things they act this way and they 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 have this energy and this facade about them because they simply do not know any better because they are more than likely going through some shit on their own whether mentally physically or personally maybe in their love life or their personal life or their financial life and they simply react different right it, they, they just react in a different way they don't react like you and I do they don't they don't you know what I mean they like you and I we look for solutions we don't look for the problems we have enough empathy and, and courtesy to understand that we catch more bees with honey and so if you want something to be done for you the chances are you'll probably get it done faster and more efficiently if you were 
fucking human and you didn't talk to people like they were the fucking help. <laughs> right? Like they're the help and shit. Like, boo boo, they're not your maid. That's not your assistant. That's your, you know what I mean? That, that, that's your co worker, bro. And so, and so, what happens when you when you come across these people who have this audacity or this kind of facade or energy or this kind of this uh, this aura around them that tends to pull you in a negative direction? What I want you to do and what I want you to remember is just like everything, kindness always wins, right? Being nice always wins. And sometimes it's hard to be nice because we, we overthink it and we sometimes feed into our thoughts like, man, fuck this person who the fuck is this guy or who the fuck is this girl right it doesn't have to be a guy it could be a girl too and sometimes it's just that one thing it could be the scent of their perfume it could just be the the voice of just something irks the shit out of you and and i want you to remember that if if you have that person in your crowd chances are they're going to feed the fire when you are most upset or when you're in most negative state they're going to fucking douse that flame with gasoline <laughs> it's gonna blow up because it 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 enrages you right is it there it, it's it's that one thing that could push you over the edge and I don't want you to go down that negative path especially for somebody who doesn't even earn the respect for you to sit down and tell them like hey well you fucking up you're fucking up the entire everyone's energy everyone knows who you are we know what you stand for we know your bullshit bro and would you please stop fucking talking so loud just because you're on the phone selling? You ain't setting no example, boo-boo. The only example that you're setting is the fucking way not to do it, what not to be like. <laughs> you know, so, but you have to fuel, you know, you have to kind of vent that shit out. But it's important to yourself, your, your future, your success, if you do not let these external things affect you. Do not let the negativity of other people affect you. Do not let their opinion affect you. You know, my opinion right now, you might see it another way, right? You might be like, yo, D, man, it's not nice to call that person a douchebag. Don't say the F word, D. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, and that's cool. I'm not judging you or anything, but what I'm saying around here is fuck that person <laughs> because they at the end of the day they're not like us right and that's just how we react this is human instinct and just like when you are with your family and you are at a place you've never been before and you see someone who's suspect walking your way you don't know if they're gonna ask you for change or do some shiesty shit what do you do you fucking protect your loved ones, right? Like maybe you grab your kids, and you bring them a little closer. Maybe you you tell your wife to hey walk on this side real quick, right? Because you're you're coherent. You just judge that motherfucker, and so don't 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 you know what I mean? Don't be like, hey man, you can't say bad things about people, bro. You you can't you can't judge somebody if us all you do is judge, right? But at the end of the day, the only way that we can react off of people is by the energy that they produce and that they they exude. And so if they're, and everyone's exuding an energy, I'm exuding energy right now, you're gonna be exuding energy all throughout the day. And you're gonna bring in this tone, you're gonna bring in this kind of this mood with you and it's gonna follow you throughout your day. And sometimes the mood is not, is not affected by external things sometimes the mood is affected by what you have internalized what you are thinking and what's going on inside your head and if if the only thing that's going on in your head and the only thing that you've been thinking about is negativity worry problems right it's it's the opposite of solutions the opposite of the positivity being it's opposite of being optimistic right and, and you just got a lot of this negativity and worry around you that's the energy you're gonna bring Right? If you have a lot of envy around within you, that's the energy you're going to exude. You're just going to be envious. You're going to be um, kind of a worry wart. Hey, man, I'm I'm one of I'm one to talk. Right? Like I, I I get in this train of thought, and I was just I was I'm wired to be a worry wart. It's just how I operate. But I accept that, and being self aware enables me to enables me to grow and, and, and just be me, be comfortable with it and adapt and try to work on the flaws rather than be mad at myself because of these flaws or worse yet, be in denial because of these certain flaws. And so we all have flaws and that's my message is because that person who gets on your nerves, even though they get on your nerves, they probably don't mean to. And, and we sometimes need to take a step back and be like, yo man, everyone has their own issues. Everyone has their own problems. I don't want to make a problem out of this dude's problem because the way that dude acts or the way that 
chick acts is a fucking problem and I don't want my my current state to go into a negative state because I I just manifested a fucking problem out of something that shouldn't even be a fucking problem because it has nothing to do with me. It's all external. Whether this man talks loud every time he's on the phone to show off he's on a sale or throw people under the bus to fucking make it look like he's the coolest person. That's just them, right? That's just them. And the only way that we can really rise above that is just let our actions and our mood and our energy and our attitude and our, our tone... Um, uh, speak for itself, right? Because that's ultimately how we're going to be judged, how we're going to be perceived and seen is what is how it, how we walk, talk, and act. And that's all it is. So I hope you walk, talk, and act like the pro you are. I hope you take advantage of, you know, the, the Sales Room Master University uh, back to school s- special sale that I got going on right now. And it's on the the banker's uh, closers guide. It's going to teach you as a mortgage banker how to survive and weather this storm. What perfect time, right? And if you have a mentor that could show you exactly what to do or a coach that could show you exactly what to do and you have this opportunity to enroll into a class where you have it in digital form, you could pull it up on your phone, your iPad, your tablet, your computer at work, wherever, whenever you need the coach and you say, hey man, I'm going into this meeting or I'm going into this pitch, how can I get prepared? Watch this course, learn from this course because the faster that you understand how to win the faster that you could repeat the process and and accrue more wins and the faster you can accrue more wins the faster you can gain the self-confidence that you need to implement a system that you want so that you can reach the levels that you strive to hit and i'll see you in the next episode bye do you know that person that <laughs> you know what's funny is i always start the video like do you <laughs> Pump talk and get to it. Hard liquor here. Rip hard, really do a hard liquor here. We can buy the boy all night.